What is the main motivation behind the research presented in the paper? The main motivation behind the research presented in the paper is to train language models to learn the process of search, including making mistakes, backtracking, and exploring different options, in order to improve their problem-solving abilities. The researchers aim to address the limitations of current transformer-based language models in planning and decision-making tasks, such as error compounding and difficulties in look-ahead tasks. By teaching language models to search and self-improve through exposure to diverse search trajectories, the goal is to enable them to autonomously use flexible search strategies and solve previously unsolved problems. The researchers demonstrate that by training language models on streams of search, the models outperform those trained solely on optimal solutions, showcasing the importance of exposing models to the messy process of problem solving. Ultimately, the research aims to enhance the adaptability, generalizability, and problem-solving capabilities of language models by teaching them to search and learn from their mistakes. How does the paper propose to address the limitations of autoregressive models in decision-making and reasoning tasks? The paper proposes to address the limitations of autoregressive models in decision-making and reasoning tasks by training language models to search and backtrack in language, representing the process as a serialized string, a stream of search, so's. By systematizing the elements of search into a unified language, the paper enables language models to learn to solve problems through exploration and error, allowing them to make mistakes, search, plan, and backtrack. This approach exposes models to the messy process of problem solving, leading to self-improvement through optimizing for correctness using advantage-induced policy alignment, APA, and expert iteration with STAR. The SOS framework teaches models to backtrack, explore alternative paths, and consider multiple possible outcomes before committing to a course of action, addressing the limitations of autoregressive models in decision-making and reasoning tasks. What is the significance of training a language model on search trajectories in the context of the countdown game? Training a language model on search trajectories in the context of the countdown game is significant because it allows the model to learn to solve problems through exploration, backtracking, and self-improvement. By exposing the model to diverse streams of search, it learns to navigate complex decision-making processes, overcome errors, and plan ahead. This approach enables the model to autonomously use different search strategies, leading to improved problem-solving abilities. The model can discover new search strategies and tackle previously unsolved problems, showcasing its adaptability and flexibility in handling challenging tasks. Additionally, training on search trajectories helps the model to develop an internal world model for search, allowing it to simulate state transitions independently. This method addresses criticisms of language models for planning and problem solving, providing a more robust and effective approach to tackling complex tasks. Ultimately, training a language model on search trajectories in the countdown game not only enhances its performance, but also unlocks its potential to discover innovative ways to solve problems and improve its overall reasoning capabilities. Can you explain the difference between training a model on optimal paths versus training it on streams of search trajectories? Training a model on optimal paths involves teaching the model to predict the correct and optimal path to a solution for all problems in the dataset. On the other hand, training a model on streams of search trajectories involves exposing the model to diverse and suboptimal search strategies, including exploration, backtracking, and other critical components of reasoning. The model learns from the messy process of problem solving, where mistakes are made and corrected through search and exploration. By training on streams of search trajectories, the model learns to navigate through different options and discover new search strategies, leading to more flexible problem-solving abilities. In essence, training on optimal paths focuses on the final correct solution, while training on streams of search trajectories focuses on the process of reaching the solution through exploration and backtracking, ultimately leading to superior performance in solving problems. How does the stream of search, SOS framework, contribute to improving the performance of language models in problem-solving tasks? The stream of search, 
SOS framework contributes to improving the performance of language models in problem-solving tasks by teaching the models to search and backtrack, allowing them to explore alternative paths and consider multiple possible outcomes before committing to a course of action. This helps address the issue of snowballing errors and difficulties in look-ahead tasks that arise when models are only exposed to optimal trajectories. By training language models on diverse streams of search trajectories, SOS enables them to learn from messy and sometimes unsuccessful search processes, leading to superior performance compared to models trained solely on optimal solutions. Additionally, the SOS framework allows language models to self-improve by optimizing for correctness using techniques like Advantage-Induced Policy Alignment, APA, and Expert Iteration with STAR. These methods help the models solve previously unsolved problems and discover new search strategies, ultimately enhancing their problem-solving abilities. SOS also enables language models to learn an internal world model for search, making them more adaptable and generalizable in their problem-solving approaches. Overall, the SOS framework provides a structured approach for language models to learn search and backtracking, leading to more effective problem-solving capabilities and the potential for tackling complex tasks in a flexible and autonomous manner. What are the key components of the search process as defined in the paper? The key components of the search process as defined in the paper include the current state, S underscore C, being explored, the goal state, S underscore G, that is the target, the state Q, S underscore Q, representing the states at the frontier of the trajectory that haven't been explored yet, the state expansion function, S E, S right arrow, S which explores a state adjacent to the current state based on a transition function, exploration choice which determines the order of states to explore, E. G. Breadth first search, depth first search, pruning which discards states or subtrees unlikely to lead to a solution, backtracking which allows moving between explored nodes, goal check to verify if the current state is the goal state, and heuristic functions that approximate the distance of the current state from the goal to guide exploration and decision making. These components collectively define the process of search in the paper stream of search, SOS framework, enabling language models to learn problem solving through exploration, backtracking, and other critical reasoning components. How does the paper evaluate the accuracy of models in solving countdown problems? The paper evaluates the accuracy of models in solving countdown problems by measuring the percentage of problems for which the model is able to generate a correct solution trajectory. This is done by defining correctness as a binary function that evaluates if the correct path to the solution is present in the generated trajectory. Additionally, the paper introduces two ways to measure alignment between different search strategies, Alignment of correctness and alignment of states visited. Alignment of correctness measures whether two search strategies solve the same set of problems correctly and incorrectly, calculated as the Pearson correlation between the solved and unsolved problems for the two search strategies. Alignment of states visited measures the overlap in the states visited by two search strategies, normalized by dividing the common states by the maximum number of states in the two trajectories. These metrics help quantify the accuracy and effectiveness of the models in solving countdown problems by comparing their performance with different search strategies and evaluating their ability to generate correct solutions and explore states efficiently. What are the two reinforcement learning strategies used to improve the SOS models, and how do they differ in approach? The two reinforcement learning strategies used to improve the SOS models are expert iteration with STAR and advantage-induced policy alignment, APA. Expert iteration with STAR involves using correct trajectories from the training dataset to fine-tune the model iteratively until convergence in performance on the validation set is achieved. On the other hand, Advantage-induced policy alignment, APA, is an actor-critic reinforcement learning technique where a separate value network is created to enhance the policy of the original language model, based on a reward function that considers correctness and trajectory length. APA aims to improve exploration and path-stitching abilities of the language model by using a reference policy to prevent the policy from drifting from its initial state.
The key difference between the two approaches lies in their mechanisms. STAR focuses on fine-tuning the model using correct trajectories from the training dataset, while APA involves creating a separate value network to enhance the policy of the original language model based on a reward function. What insights do the alignment scores provide about the strategies used by the SOS model in comparison to symbolic search strategies? The alignment scores provide insights into how the SOS model utilizes different search strategies compared to symbolic search strategies. The alignment of correctness measures whether two search strategies solve the same set of problems correctly and incorrectly, showing how well the SOS model aligns with symbolic strategies in terms of problem-solving accuracy. The alignment of states visited measures the overlap in the states explored by two search strategies, indicating how similar the exploration patterns of the SOS model are to symbolic strategies. The alignment scores show that the SOS model does not predominantly rely on any single symbolic strategy from its training data, demonstrating its ability to flexibly utilize various search strategies and potentially discover novel heuristics and search methods. The scores reveal that the SOS model aligns more with strategies that use the sum heuristic, indicating a preference for strategies based on the distance to the factors of the target. Additionally, the alignment scores suggest that the SOS model diverges from symbolic strategies and employs different search strategies, showcasing its adaptability and unique problem-solving approach. How does the paper suggest that the SOS framework can address criticisms of language models for planning and problem-solving? The paper suggests that the stream of search SOS framework can address criticisms of language models for planning and problem-solving by teaching models to search and backtrack, allowing them to explore alternative paths and overcome failures in look-ahead tasks. By exposing models to the messy process of problem-solving, including exploration and error recovery, instead of only presenting ideal solution steps, SOS models can self-improve by optimizing for correctness using techniques like Advantage-Induced Policy Alignment, APA, and Expert Iteration with STAR. This approach helps address the issue of snowballing errors, by enabling models to backtrack and consider multiple possible outcomes before committing to a course of action. Additionally, SOS models learn an internal world model for search, which allows for more adaptable and generalizable search compared to symbolic search methods that rely on an explicit environment model. The paper highlights that SOS can lead language models to develop more flexible search strategies, better handle challenges like error compounding and look-ahead tasks, and ultimately improve their planning and problem-solving abilities.